If the setting had been somewhat different, say that of a photo shoot for a magazine cover, then flashy 35-year-old Gideon Mbuvi Sonko would not have run into any trouble. But the bling-laden MP for Makadara was in Parliament, starring controversy yet again. With a look that has seen him cover Nish as a lustrous youthful leader, it was the stunners, the studs, and he was chewing gum. Member Gideon Mbuvi walked in. You can see he's putting on shades and some things in his ears. I want you to declare if that's really in order for a member to dress that way, if that is appropriate. Sonko, who seems to have over time mastered the art of raising eyebrows, did catch the speaker's attention with his eye-catching apparel. In the history of this house that I have known myself, and probably many members will bear it out, had a situation in which a member of parliament who is a male has come in with earrings or some stuff in the ears, whatever you want to call them. Do you have any explanation for that? <laughs> Mr. Speaker, I'm representing the youth in this house, Mr. Speaker. I think the honorable member should concentrate on his constituents, Mr. Speaker, instead of interfering with me, Mr. Speaker. But some MPs were not buying the colorful, youthful card that has seen him become the darling of masses to some. Mr. Bovi, Mr. Speaker, through your guidance, needs to have the totality of that dressing. So, earrings, and a skirt would be in order for him. In the history of this world, since God created the world, men have never imitated women, Mr. Speaker. To others, this was much ado about nothing. Stars are men for men, and Mr. Mbuvi, Honorable Mbuvi, represents the youth in Makadara, and they wear stars in Makadara. Mwishimu Mbuvi, anajinalake, lakisasa, lakiutani, anaitwa songo. Na ukifuata tabia na mienendo ya kina songo ndio hii. Sasa yeye anatipitisha wazi kwamba yeye ndio songo. Dressing is personal and unless if it is totally offensive. Even the way we are dressed today, everybody is dressed according to taste. This to some may add to Sonko's misdemeanors, but this latest incident perhaps bringing to the fore. The struggle within the society between the conservatives and the liberals, however, this incident is not the first of its kind. Former Kamkunji MP Simon Bugwa was chased out of parliament after he showed up dressed in a sackcloth in a bid to make a statement. And I want to say this to those who are parents. Our children, our male children, and I'm talking in plural, are sometimes coming home with lines plated on their heads. And that doesn't mean they are deviates in any way. It's just a fashion that passes. But even as the cameras were still rolling, when Vuvi hurriedly removed the studs and shades, as the speaker gave his ruling, the axe still fell on him. Can you go out of the house and come back when you're dressed up? Salim Bilu, Citizen Live at 9.